Four button. All right. So last week, the party defeated the very first boss. They have grown ever so closer to Mayor. The girls. They met William, the Force Guardian. They met a flaming detached skull named Adam Greaves. He was found on by accident because, well, Saradin sat on him, unknowingly, of course. He explains to the party that he had been cursed there by a wraith. Not exactly the wraith that the party had been looking for, but it turned out to, well, be that particular one. Yashua used the spell Essena in an attempt to remove the curse that bound him to the cave, and it just so happened to work. And so, Adam Greaves is once again a free man. Well, you know, free floating skull, that. but that doesn't really matter. Regardless, it's free for now. Regardless, our story will now continue immediately after the cusp of the last battle. And the mayor is going to ask the party, are, are you all in need of any medical assistance? I, you've all been fighting for quite a few hours, and you all look a little tired. If you need anything over here? I have a few supplies with me. Oh shit! I had a character loss. I can really healed because <laughs> you know how it goes. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You barely take any damage. You just see a scratch on my chest, like, nah, I should be fine, as everybody else is, like, slightly bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> well, for, uh... Hmm. Well, I guess for, for simplicity's sake, I'll just say that the mayor healed everybody. And, uh, there's nothing else that needs to be done. I suppose we can all travel back to the village. Yes. Right. I'm going to move the player tokens. I'm about to leave my first. Anyway. There. Change of the music. Alright. So. Now that we're here. And. Everything seems to be sort it out for the better we can now finally at long last begin making our preparations for our festival i'm going to go deal with the business side of things if you all wish to take a break at the end feel free if not you're free to venture around I'm going to go to the shop area. If anyone needs me, I will be there. All right. Mayor scurries off to the shopping district of the village. I'm assuming that's where you're gonna go. I was gonna check the uh, tavern <laughs> to get the lunch. <laughs> right. Okay. Let me move you there. All right. So you can sell a thing in this game. Yeah, but it's not like it's not mandatory for anything. It's just for flavor text and the occasional stat boost. You say that. That's the only way I my character keep his muscles. <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna wave down the bar and keep. Alright, move his token. That's not the token move button. Anyway, he moves oh, down. Oh, one way to stack coffee in the corner. Who stacked their coffee in the back like that? What? In the back are right there. He stacks his cup of coffee <laughs> to be clean. Oh, well, hey. It's not my bar. Anyway, barkeep pulls up to you. <clears throat> what can I do you for, friend? I would like something to eat. Well, what you looking for? 
Uh, don't know. Give me something. Give me, give me what you would recommend. What I would recommend. After a long day's worth of work. Hmm. Give me a few minutes. I have something for you. Okay. He ventures off back towards the grill, and within seconds, you can hear. You can hear the sizzling of what sounds like really good meat. And, I like that old mother. <laughs> and every now and then, you hear the crunch of what sounds like lettuce. Is he, if he's making a hamburger, that's pretty offense for these times. I know fantasy wise, it's canon, but look at that bathroom. <laughs> you gotta tell me they, have, they don't have modern day bathroom and have a hamburger. <laughs> Oh no, they do. All right. Once he's done working his masterpiece back there, right. they have one day bathroom, but this tavern doesn't. He comes back out to the bar area, and he hands you what looks like a really well put together steak, an assortment of fried vegetables, an apple for the sake of having the fruit with every meal and a nice tall glass of rolling berry drink it is not alcohol it's just rolling berry juice pretty sure it's the afternoon it's early to get drunk <laughs> also that time time wise it's like one in the afternoon oh i think the bird keep I reach in to pay him guild because he never gave me the original price for this. Nah, 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 don't worry about it. Anyone who defends the village gets a free meal out of me. And as he Thanks. says that, he pulls out a can of lemonade from, from under the counter and cracks it open. And he takes a nice eat. long swig of it. As he just stares at me waiting for me to eat. <laughs> What? No, he, he's I, enjoying his lemonade, dude. It'd be funny. This NPC logic is like, oh, I just drink here, just looking at him. It's like, just be a character sitting there. It's like, you motherfucker. <laughs> but yeah, just eat. And then after I eat, I go to the shopping area. All right. You move your token there. Do a little bit of that, a little bit of that. You change the music. Oh. That's the next day. Well, so. also you forgot to add the uh, speed bug to the uh, passives. Or did you? There was something else. I think Gabe does another speed bug. I'll listen to the recording. <laughs> Oh, what you gonna do here, Najee, in the shop area? I'm assuming you're oh. gonna go talk to Greg. <laughs> yes, I am. I was like, cool, I was like, I'll go check this lady to see what knickknacks like, she has. I was like, oh, wait, I should probably upgrade my gear. Even though it's useless to upgrade my gear. <laughs> well, you say that. Until the future. <laughs> oh, I want over to Greg. Top of the afternoon, Pally of mine. How goes it? I heard yeah. you got into uh, quite the nasty fight. But you're yeah. here, that means you won. Yes. They barely left a scratch. Greg takes a quick up and down glance and yeah, you, you don't look injured at all. Tell no, me. The, the, no, the serious question what animal are you? <laughs> I am but a duck. What else could I be? You could be a lot of things. I've seen a lot of things in my time. He looks to the right and left, but again, I am but a duck. With magical sparkles and a fancy hat and a nice cape, but at the end of the day, I am but a duck. A duck that can lift boxes without heads or wings. Yes? Is that not common where you come from? 
No. Well, the first time for everything, friend. Yes. Greg takes a oh. cursory glance at your pocket, and he notices something shining from it. By chance, what could that be? It could be a lot of things. It could be this pocket watch, this pearl, this wheat stone, this shiny stone, the iron scraps, this shiny branch. <laughs> oh, 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 wait a second. That pearl you have. Uh, remember that recipe sheet I gave you? Yes. Could you be so kind as to hand the sheet and the materials to my companion, Alex, over here? I need to pull up the sheet to remove all the stuff now. <laughs> Give me two seconds. Okay. I'll continue on, though. Right. As you walk over to Alex, you can't really tell because he's covered in head to toe in armor, but on the inside, he is smiling that you have approached them. Oh, hello there. Uh, what's up? What can I do for you? Realized I don't have a sheet of gold, a sheet of honesty. <laughs> no, 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 all of you have it, remember? Okay. Oh, I'm here to hand you some stuff for armor. You're giving and me things to make? Like, yes. Ooh, let me see. Okay, just this, 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 that. Ooh. Give me about 10 minutes. I will be right back. Okay. Alex turns around. He casts Hastega on himself, and he gets to work. I slide my way back to Greg. Ah, yes. I'm looking good. Can you do anything with this? And I just roll, pull out. I was said roll out. Yes, from my back pocket, just roll out. It. I pull out the Dire Bear Pelt. One moment. Okay. He rummages through his boxes again, and you can hear him muttering to, muttering to himself. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait. Ooh. Mm, that might be a little dangerous. Ah. Wait a second. Aha. Okay. I can. I can do one of two things. I can make this into a protective charm that will shield you against the elements or I can make it into a protective charm that both makes you a little bit more tougher than nails and guards you against the heat a little bit not too much though mm -hmm. I have to think about it I'll go around and see what people can do with it. If nothing catch my fancy, I'll come back to you, Greg. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Yes. I pull out the wheat stone. Even though I probably need it, like, do you have any purpose for this? I can convert this into a blessed moonstone. Whetstone for you. That screw up. That screw up was on purpose, by him. Huh. What a fancy name. I accept this. <laughs> Looks slide it over the anvil. All right. Give me a moment. He runs it through stuff again. He pulls out a hammer. What? Appears to be broken stones and a vial of a sparkling liquid. He does a little hop, a little skip in his place. He does a backflip, picks up the hammer, he brings it down on a whetstone, and Is now he's just you... using his beak. <laughs> huh? Is he just using his beak to pick up the hammer? Uh -huh. What is he using? <laughs> what? Yep. A strong beak. He brings it down upon the whetstone, and now your whetstone has a moon symbol on it, and it glows. 
And so, now you have access to Weapon Refinery, and once per day, granted you have enough gill and materials for it, you can increase the strength of one of your weapons by 10. Mm. I hope this is to your liking, friend. I haven't had to make one of these in quite a long time. I would imagine. Put my back pocket. As I need to clear this thing out of my inventory right quick. Not that we saw something else that shouldn't be in here. Okay. Actually, two things, three things that should be in here. By the way, friend. Yes. I've only known you for less than an entire day, but I do feel like you could be a very good business partner slash customer of mine. Potentially. I always need new weapons and gear. <laughs> and I am but a traveling duck merchant. I have a lot of those things in my inventory at majority of the time. At the second, when the watch of what stock of the items is low, stock of items is low, can't be helped. Yeah, that's why when I do make my rounds with whatever village or city I decide to go to, I always make sure I leave a little something there beforehand so that way I'm not out of everything, you know. Yeah. Because the last sure. thing I want to have happen to me as a merchant is to not have any words to sell. Because no words means no money. And everyone likes exactly. money, right? Give or take. Money can buy you a hot meal. True. Speaking of meals, I need to get something later on. But I will be thoroughly indulging myself at the festival. So I think I'll hold off on yeah. By oh. the way, friend, <laughs> yes. I have an, um, he looks to the right and left, and, looks at, he, and he looks over at Alex specifically to make sure he's not listening. I have an investment program that I like to give, give to my future potential favorite customers. Would you like entry? And I like to hear info of it. For, for, for a moment, you hear Alex stop working. He gives a death glare at Greg, and then he goes back to working. Ah, well, simply put, uh, for a flat fee of a small competition and 3,000 gil, you will become a business partner of mine. And as such, Gain a few nice perks you probably won't get with anyone else. And so, anything that you find out of the ordinary, you can bring it to me. I can appraise it or work my little magic with it. And if it becomes something salvageable and I manage to get a good price on it, don't question how this is going to work, but the moment I make the sale, you will gain 50% of that profit. You also, he looks to the left and right again, will get access to my secret menus. And then you hear Alex's trademark groan in the background, to which Greg just laughs it off. Let's see. You speak of a competition. Yes. What is this competition? <laughs> An arm wrestling contest. With who exactly? With me. <laughs> I think I'd stop for a second. I was like, oh wait, is this with him? <laughs> <laughs> with me, of course. Who else? I mean, an arm wrestling contest involves an arm. Unless you're hiding arms under those feathers. I mean... You know I the mean, legs are the strongest part of the body, yes? 
relatively speaking, four times stronger than ours. Well, I see no rhyme or reason with this. So, how about it, friend? <laughs> I don't care to all I can think about. It's fucking the episode regular show where fucking skips just loves up rug uh, rugby just slam into the table. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it never hurts to have a friendly arm wrestle competition. Splendid. Now just give me a moment to wash my feet, and we can do it right here on this anvil. As I look at my hands covered in slightly of blood, it's like, yes, the colorliness. <laughs> you, you see Greg cast water on himself as he, as he tosses a piece of soap into the air, and he... Very quickly, faster than what you would expect him to, washes his feet so well that they sparkle just like he does. And he offers you the same courtesy. He casts he casts water for you and offers you a piece of soap. Sure, why not? Clean hands. I don't even though I should have washed it before, but clean hands. <laughs> oh, let's go along. Clean <laughs> right. my own hands. Greg grabs a stool, he puts it by the anvil, and he sits and he raises his right foot up onto the anvil. And as strange as it looks, his foot is functioning like an arm, bending in ways it absolutely should not be, but it is. Oh well, I don't judge. I've seen worse at weird things. <laughs> I put my arm on the anvil. <laughs> Your hand makes contact with Greg's foot. You suddenly feel a very imposing pressure on you. So, the way that this little competition is going to work is that you are going to roll both strength and dexterity. And that oh. combined number right. will be divided by two. I'm gonna, do, well, uh, I'm gonna do the same thing well. for Greg. And whoever hits a grand total of 250 first wins. Oh, I need a fog calculator. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm surprised it's in uh, athletics. I was gonna do athletics, but that's for someone else's thing who won't be here. Uh, but yeah, whenever you're ready, Ricky, who's gonna take first? Uh, you can roll first. Well, strength and dex. Yep. I need to scroll down now because I didn't realize I was that high up. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I rolled two tens in a row. Right. I don't want to talk about what just this. I just typed in 300 instead of 30. <laughs> That's fine. You're at 15. I'm at 15. Yeah, 20 plus, half? 20 plus 10 divided by 2 is 15. Okay, I didn't roll those halved. Oh, no, 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 no. So I'm going to roll for Greg. I did that so long. Huh? I'll let you check with that. <laughs> that's still you know, plus 30. What is that, Riki? <laughs> what do you mean, what is that? Right. That man has stronger strength than God itself. I don't know what you're talking the, about. On D&D standards. <laughs> Call foul play. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, Greg is at 57. We'll be right back. He's going to call at me.
I'm gonna rub my mouse point for two seconds there. Sorry about that. No worries. Okay, it's... It's your turn again. 17 and then 19. <laughs> Compared to a duck that apparently lips more and is faster than me by default. <laughs> so you're at. Adding this all together, you're at 42. I'm at a total 42, he just rolled some 42, like that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Get flexed out. <laughs> so Greg's at 115. For now. So I'll go over for the kill. I break his life. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> that match is like I'm losing. There's only one thing to do with a more brute force to break his leg. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, well. Onwards to my checks. That eight. <laughs> Good God. I'm not about the deck's life. <laughs> Seven now. Oh, wow, he's cheating. I call foul play. <laughs> this duck, this duck takes steroids. I did that a check. <laughs> Is that 176? A two ones in a row! Nah, oh nah, yes! Nah, nah, we roll that. That's just bad luck. Fucking... That fucking two ones is two rows slapped in a row. It's like, yep. Jesus Christ. And now you know what my luck is in D&D. Yeah, for <laughs> real. I don't roll that twenties often. <laughs> like, like I went out of town, I roll when it counts. What did I say your last number was? I thought you were keeping track. It was, it like... was uh, forty-two. Because he, oh no, that was, I forgot. Because forty-two was the time you rolled forty-two. Yeah. Because you said forty-two, and Greg rolled up a forty-two to flex on me. <laughs> And then I don't think you said my number after the other roll. I, put, I found it in my calculator history. Good. Yeah. That's cool, Thirty-four. Start to late to go breaking arms. <laughs> Imagine if I just flat broke it. That would be so bad. Greg turn. You're at 150. 
Your name's slowly flexing. He's like, that's right. This blood's not eight for sure. <laughs> Greg one, that three oh two. That's very change the music back to normal. Ah, well, that was that was fun. I haven't had to arm wrestle with anyone in a while. Yes. It was something. I get to learn learn about you a bit more. As I did you, friend. After having that little competition. Now, all right, quick, out of character. Uh, did I have the option between to choose the competition at 30,000? What? Or was that both recommended? Say that again? Or was, was that a choice? That I, the competition and the 30,000, was those two separate choices? Or did I have an option there? Oh, yeah, you, you, you could have turned down the competition. Oh, I thought I, I needed to take both. Oh. That was no. a misunderstanding on my part. No, 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 no. That's not 30,000, it's 3,000. Ah. I thought I, I thought I had to pay both of them. No, 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 no. Oh, that's my old bad there. Hey, you don't worry about it, you fine. Um. Yeah, so, uh, glad to have you on board friend and after yes. having that little competition you and greg you 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 are very quickly becoming better friends and now greg's friendship level is currently at one all right you have now entered into greg's business ventures and so now Every time you find what may or may not be a rare item, you can hand it over to Greg, and if he manages to make a sale with it, you will instantly gain 50% of that profit. It can happen at any given moment. Also, now have a 10% discount with all of Greg's wares that are not on his secret menu. Huh. Let me type that in the passive thingy. That is not how you spell friendship, good lord. It's fiendship. <laughs> this is that I, I literally typed fiendship on accident. It's even better, the fact that I guessed it. <laughs> <laughs> and with us, with that strength, I mean, Greg's definitely a fiend. <laughs> Never mind his fucking, uh, whatchamacallit. His fucking 50, at least 50 decks. <laughs> Strength wise, let's say strength. He's hitting over a hundred in strength. Oh, wait, that's 30. He's hitting oh, at least 70 in strength. Yeah. He's cheating. I don't know, you and me. I looked at Craig because, like, how do I gain muscles like you besides through magic? Uh, well, I did a lot of squatting and running. Drank a lot of juice. Um, Out of character. Was it because he used his leg? Is that why it was much higher? <laughs> yes. At the man leg wrestling competition. After having that conversation done, 
you mosey on over to no 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 alex is ways is waving you over to him excitedly and he is very much trying to hold himself back from jumping up and down in place yes i like a greg very next time i'll use my legs in this competition and i, I want to over to greg <laughs> friend and the next time kitchen we have be a good one yes so you make your way to alex and he is uh he's you can tell by his body language that he's excited so uh here here all that stuff that you brought me it's uh it's done it looks really really good i'm very very proud of myself with it and uh well here take it I hope it's to your liking. Yes. I hope so too. I take the armor. So Alex hands you the Falcon armor. Now, canonically in game, up. it looks like that link I just put in, but it can look however you want. And let me play the unlock sound again because now you and the party have acquired your very first set of rare crafted armor. Alright, let me kind of paste all the stats for you. This is, this is gonna be a lot. second half well yeah in the second half grab all this and there's one more thing specifically for you that I need to copy paste give me two seconds till I have to copy paste this armor uh huh copy paste slap that in there copy paste That part should, it's really important to me. I'll just slap this in. To your liking, man. I had a lot of fun putting this one together. And if you find any other armor recipes, uh, please give them to me or any of my uh, relatives you find along your journey. We're all wearing similar kinds of armor. Huh. Huh. <laughs> As I like, keep a check with the back of my mind, did not kill relatives. It's still armor. <laughs> 
It would not end well. <laughs> the fact that he hit that, the fact that his armor is one of a kind to his family, and I should have signed the moment you kill it and wear that armor, someone's gonna die. <laughs> Now, as I look at Alex, picturally speaking, what if I still find someone that isn't your relative wearing that armor? Um, I mean, you do whatever you want, I don't care. The thing that uh, helps us distinguish each other is a little feather on our head. Is a feather on his head? <laughs> yeah. I don't like slowly scan a bit higher. If you see anyone yeah. full clad in a suit of armor with a black feather like this, it's it's one of my people. Got an interesting armor piece. That the helmet piece is interesting. That's an interesting armor piece. The armor set itself. Oh. I knew I just bow extend. <laughs> I forgot the nest. Well, not to disrespect. I like I go to slap on this armor. <laughs> what? You know how it goes. Like, you can armor. You know, just casually walk away, like knowing. Like I'm pretty sure Alex knows full well. I can just slap it on instantly. <laughs> You know how it goes I thought you said well. Alec instead of Alex, I'm like, huh? Oh. Yeah, okay, slap on the armor Alec, maybe, that to disrespect him. That's <laughs> gonna be the armor. Not the big one, just the Falcon armor. <laughs> Look at okay, what's his face? I'm fucking uh, his own series from Nintendo. <laughs> Mega Man? No. It's uh, I guess I know his name is Falcon. He's the one that does Falcon Punch. I've got a series. Yeah, Captain Falcon. That's my armor. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> what better way to look nice and like a heavy armor besides in tights? <laughs> hey, all the power to you. Nah, I'll probably be like the uh, previous before where I have an overriding armor skin of default looking self. <laughs> oh, now I need to slap all this stuff into my own stat block at some point. Yep. Oh, now's not the time. I'll look to Greg. So what do you have for sale today? Well, majority of my words haven't changed from this morning. However, I mean, from the... Oh yeah, this job uh, this morning. I mean, a lot has changed this morning. I am seven, mu six muscles stronger than the last time you saw me. <laughs> he looks you up and down for a second. Oh, you do look a tad stronger. Well, I guess those battles did some real good justice for you, huh? Uh, I want to say maybe, but it's hard to say. As I flash back, just sitting mostly in the background. <laughs> <laughs> well, regardless, all strength is good strength in my in my book. So, yes. uh, like I said, my words haven't changed much from this morning. However, 
I did find a really nice obsidian necklace on the ground. I asked around to see if it belonged to anyone, but everyone said it, did, it didn't belong to them. So it is now mine, and it is for sale. Huh. I take a look. Can I see the obsidian necklace? Sure. He I have an eye die. I reach from below the counter and he puts it on the table. It is, the it is a cylindrical shaped stone with what appears to be a star on the front of it with a really nice silver chained necklace. Hmm. I examined said necklace. With my sword. You're examining the necklace with your sword? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> now I'm gonna touch it. <laughs> okay. take a look at it or to try to like like examine examine it I mean as I haven't as a player would for that stuff let me rephrase that <laughs> unless it's un unless the stat isn't showing but I have to analyze it How much fun there is. Hmm. As I look at the spell, I'm like, let's do but, a in D and D. But usually in D and D, when examining items is usually a card up. But I like it. I'm dumb in both stats. <laughs> That's the perception. Perception. It's good at thirteen. Uh, upon Let's examining see how smart it, I am. you can tell. Apparently that, not. <laughs> you can tell that it will, at the very least, increase your defense by a small amount. How much do you sell the next one for, Greg? Um, well, since it wasn't on the menu for today, um, you can have it for, let's say, 600. What about, what about, I'd rather offer, what about this pocket watch? <laughs> Ooh, let me see that. Huh? I had another pocket watch. Not sure if it works or not, but uh, it. Hmm. It might add to your aesthetic, though. I have a dangling pocket watch. It appears to be broken. Would or was you it my like for me to restore it? Yes. Okay, give me just a moment, Greg runs back behind his his shed for the day and he comes back out with some clockwork tools and he very quickly gets to work on it and you you did actually buy the necklace right yes <laughs> let me type out what it does for you that is not how you spell obsidian why do i keep spelling things today because it's one man, and it's Asian, so you're trying to speak more Italian language. Anyway. Rick Foley, oh, that's that, that's Father Sarah. <laughs> yep, god damn it. What if I, my friend is playing Minecraft and he got into one of the magic mods and now he needs everything? <laughs> Rip. 
they sent me a picture of a siren casually sitting on an island in the water. <laughs> Pretty much what he's doing is he is sending pretty much a uh, a beam of energy straight from the sky down onto her. <laughs> Why? Because we just don't want to fight her. Yeah, well, you gotta do a good of a problem, I guess. Anyway. Uh, I hope oh. it makes you feel better that... Uh, roll 20 felt bad for you and made me type O and P at the same time, even though the rest of the, of the, world, of the world of City was correct. <laughs> That's it, my opinion had an extra, whatchamacallit, P in it. <laughs> uh, well, a few minutes later, after Greg finishes fixing the watch, the, the last thing he does on it is that that sparkling vial that he used on your whetstone he puts a single drop of it on your pocket watch and now your pocket watch is incredibly shiny and he somehow made a second perfect copy of it and now he has one too now we can both look fancy that is the plan friend here you go does Paco uh, uh, watch have a chain? Yes. Even better. It's the same I don't wear a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I just loop around my belt and just put it in my pocket. There we go. No one can steal it. I can really check the time now. As I pull out of my pocket to actually check the time. <laughs> What time does the pocket watch say, Riku? As I realized, I did not save two bits of the armor. Uh, time-wise, in campaign, it's it's about two thirty. This is saved on the pocket watch, so. Yeah. Huh. Well, pleasure doing business with you, Greg. Hopefully, I will see you. At the festivities. Yeah, I hear it's going to be a rambunctious time this year. Yes, without the monsters in the way, are you guys probably celebrating it after I don't know how long. I would imagine. Indeed. All right, friend. You take care. I she did that. Snip that. God damn it, damn it. Yes, as I take two steps over here. I have returned, and hopefully that bringing this wood that you have here. <clears throat> he looks at the wood and he looks at you. What? Bro, that's not wood. I don't care. What is this? It looks as I like take two steps, as I took two steps back to look at it. It looks like wood, but it's just a, it's just a board of magic that I put there. I just didn't want people to think they'd be they'd have to walk into the water to get to me. Oh. I would have jumped. Uh why? It's not that far of a jump. Exactly. It's that I'm walking the water. If the board wasn't here. <laughs> anyway. You need something? Yes, to look at your wares again. Oh. Well. And potentially buy stuff changed from this morning so I've got all well, the same stuff I forgot what he had though <laughs> um, I'm grabbing that for you don't worry Ooh. I upgrade my pocket watch I find out what haste does later <laughs> You know, you might want to at some point. Or the thing ends up to you. Oh, uh, one of my other DM does is we put the shop list in the journal area. Yeah, I should probably do that. 
It makes it easier. So people are asking, "What's in this town?" He just prep ahead of time. He's like, "This is what. This is what's inside the town." <laughs> yeah. Okay. All I know is, if I ever move this armor, I have to like do a lot of just uh, body stepping back <laughs> and stats. <laughs> I have this in the um, the chapter list Google Doc. Let me pull that up instead. Maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I threw it in here. Well, yeah, I did. I so all, all the spells are 150 gil each. And then Everything else is like. I'm gonna say on Blizzard Rage Light, it's for resistance towards Blizzard, Lightning, it's resistance towards Lightning, and yep. so forth. Oh, I'm all here for one and one thing only for spells. Is that 600 apiece? No, they're 150 apiece. 150 apiece? Let me pull out a calculator. I'm about to go broke again? Maybe. <laughs> Will it be worth it? We're about to find out. <laughs> Oh yes, I would have bought myself a second protector bracelet. I'm not letting you have two of those. <laughs> I know you copy and paste it into the thing, but it's hilarious. Like, I'll take it. Yeah, no. Yep, buying all the spells. Alright. That's a solid 9,000 gil. That's how much you have left? No, that's how much it costs to buy all the spells. Nine thousand. If it's one fifty a piece, there's six spells. Oh. This is a chunk of my money. This gone right there. <laughs> <laughs> Magic life is a an easy life. Wait. One fifty times six is nine hundred. Did you say? What, I thought you said fifteen hundred. No, 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 no. It's one hundred. Yeah, one fifty. Okay. I hear I'm about to pay him 10 over. Yeah, like, bro, chill. <laughs> I'm like, I want 10 of each. I need to make sure I learn. Bro, finna make this magic. man dummy rich. Now I need to check 900 from, from an even number. I still have 900, though. The original bag is like, wait. Let's pull it back and pull out 900. <laughs> well, hey, Q, I get to spend my, spend my time freely reading. Have fun. You say that. I got a three. I guess I need to roll, Riku. Uh... <laughs> I can't be. It's, it's, just gonna three, take but... you, it's just gonna take you three in-game minutes to read the thing. Okay, I'm gonna sit aside, sit on, sit on the uh, pier thing. I'm not blocking his uh, wares. Actually, I'm gonna sit on this box. Right. You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna. Huh? I will just sit over here. Uh, it gives me time to look over my stats because I'm pretty sure my stat actually affects it, and I need to update my stats. Sandy's sake. You know? I'm not gonna do that.
I feel like at some point I'm gonna go over this and copy and paste this all down separately elsewhere to make it easier for me. Take your time, because uh, today's session was mostly planned around uh, having people do their individual things since everyone has their uh, favorite NPC that they like. And now that you've done yours, uh... <laughs> There's only technically three NPCs that I like. It's good old Greg. Actually, Greg is actually second, funny now. This chick, how, her, how she goes about things is <laughs> hilarious. Like, like, look at that face. <laughs> you know she's gonna stab somebody. She would be first just because general knickknacks. Because general knickknacks are better at some time, same, uh, sometimes uh -huh. than gear. And the third one is this, this guy. What is this guy? Oh, the accessory dude? Golf pelt, yeah. Now, <laughs> well, where was I? Uh, you know, I should probably update this person before I forget. Apparently on my phone, Google Docs doesn't show your updates huh? on the, uh, so on my phone, on Google Docs on my phone, on the computer it shows, but on my phone, it uh, does not show your changes to Wild, uh, wild Roads, it's like, huh, that's interesting, because I see it on the computer just fine. <laughs> hmm. That's something interesting. I think it's because I might need to delete that one, and or something, I don't know. It's odd. Actually, I should probably check that anything add to my wisdom or dex. I mean, entered wisdom. No, it does not. So what you see currently is what I got to learning stuff. Oh wait, looking at the wrong one. I thought I was right. It's like wait, looking at this, like wait a minute, that doesn't seem right. I don't get that much credit from this. <laughs> HP because this added con as well. Oh, wait, no, that did add con. So, let's see. Sure, but I already added the five. That concerns me. I feel like I did already. Ricky, do you know if we got any uh, con increases besides the uh, book that I somehow cannot read? this time uh, every time <clears throat> you 
obtain a rare set of armor through uh, finding and crafting it, you gain a plus one con. I didn't realize that. I, 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 I was for me that, that meant like prior. Because I thought we had the dietary menu that gave me plus one. Yeah, that's. Was there any other. Yeah, I don't say, was there any other occasion besides then? No. Okay, I accidentally added five decks at ten. I actually, because I started the uh, body without realizing it, and I get myself. Instead of ten decks, twenty, and instead of five card, ten. <laughs> unintentionally. <laughs> Where I stand. That's because I think this one realized where I was at. I feel like something changed my watch of high AC. Yeah. I meant like before that, because I originally had my percentage just fine and dandy. Now I'm looking at 13. It's like, I don't remember having that have an AC. <laughs> yeah, I think something auto converted it over. Now I have to figure out what my AC was. I think uh, it was well, like. On the last session, I think your AC was like. It was like six or nine. It was like somewhere yeah. in between. It was, it was just before the double digits. So I remember. Yeah, yeah, I think yours are like 6%. Because 2%, I think like 4% for the current armor. Eh? Another, yeah, 4% for the current armor, I think. Let's see what reinforced gives. Yeah, I'm looking at the reinforced gifts. 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 Oh, wait, yeah, 5%. Oh, uh, something suddenly gave me one, one extra percent of decks. Let me look at my, whatchamacallit, accessories. That is what gave me an extra percent of dex. So, three. I need to move another three to make myself eight percent. I'll leave a number this time because probably does not like percentages when I'm gone. <laughs> I should have taken that uh, plus 10 damage with lightning anyways, because I think I was still wearing light uh, metal. <laughs> So it's irrelevant for now. Did I take the obsidian necklace before or after I got the armor? You got the obsidian necklace after you got the armor. I should have had a roll of higher perception. A quick question. I know it says gave perception and insight. As skills, if you do not already have them, otherwise, increase your range of all your text by five, by ten. 
What if you had one out of the two? Did you get the one that you don't have? Okay. I was curious. I'm gonna I get a push up to the one range attack, uh, increase the range, but that's all. There we go. That's not about right. Good old movement. Let's see, you can't let any of this at the. I don't get that yet. So it does five micro as they go to speed right now. Yeah. Okay. That was good because it said and because at the setting the uh what you call it. Oh proficiency stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm done with all that stuff. Now time to learn me some books. I did. You should have I'm more always... than 37. Oh, you don't say, Riku. I had 29. You got 29. Yeah, that's that. That that speeds after all the upgrades. I have all four pizzas on. I, I already I still have some of that negative four. Did you apply the the, the, the speed converter thing? Uh, speed converter. Is that the crit thing? That's the convert 60% of your attack to your speed and the crit thing. Alright. That's probably why. Give me two seconds <laughs> to convert <laughs> my attack. I is 0.6. Rounding up, right? Yeah. Now the question is, do I keep my attack or is just that that's how fast I am because of my attack? That's how fast you are because of your attack. You still keep it. Okay. Now I'm off to go do math. A new speed. I, like, I was wondering, like, it's because I read the 60% as the... Uh, because you had just got to talk about armor proficiency. Uh-huh. And it went straight to convert up to is that blah, blah, blah. That's why I was like, okay. <laughs> Does that mean I also keep my crit regularly, or did that change because of the five? No, you crit. Ch so you gave up five crit. Okay, I thought so. Yeah, that's all I have to check. Behold, my new speed. I constantly have to check each time I gain a level now. <laughs> <laughs> To me learning magic. <laughs> it's definitely been three minutes in game. Oh yeah, it's been, it's been way more than three minutes. I've been looking at this bug and like, yes. <laughs> Greg picking over my shoulder is like, what you doing? <laughs> So now Rick had to roll like a D10, but that's because his stuff was different than mine. Right. He, he got the he got a crit success, and then he had to roll for the power boost to the spell, and his lucky ass got a 10. Ah, that's right. The power boost was from the crit. Mm-hmm. So I already learned the spell, is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, so the next spell. Kind of awkward. <laughs> the next one. <laughs> I'm gonna get a one eventually. There it is. <laughs> All right, 
right, so now you have to roll a 1d10 for, for how many casts of that spell will have reduced power. Okay, so what, what spell was that for? I'm just gonna fucking pick Dio because I don't need to heal people. <laughs> First three casts of Dio, it'll do 1d8 plus half of your magic attack. And then after no, those three uses, it'll be regular. I do know what that's, that's Dio. On to the next one. I believe. That's all oh, six. Your life's dire. I told you my luck was a shit. Oh. I heard someone at the door. Oh, I'm assuming everybody's words all about the same. Say it again. I'm assuming everybody's words all about the same. Yeah. Oh, well, at a time like this, I'm trying to do what one or one thing a, bird, a guy would do: head on instant ladies. <laughs> Your reaction, priceless. Now I'm gonna fast forward this to the festival when that starts. Well, the fest, the festival won't take place until after everyone has done their thing. But it, since it's looking like that, probably won't happen until tomorrow. Because well, Rick I have to do with any other. Rick is with his grandparents. Poker's out doing stuff. Alec is fixing a roof. So it looks like the festival stuff is gonna start tomorrow. Oh, time to talk to this lady then. See what she has. <laughs> I know what she has. Alright. Uh, yes, hello. Hi, how are you? What's, what's going on? Yes, hello. I'm just here to look at your words again. Uh, okay. One does. Uh, they, um, they, 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 uh, they didn't really change, but here, have a look. Yes. I'm assuming it's much. I don't think. I think we pretty much bought everything from her. That is what we needed, didn't we? Yeah. Good times. Good times. As I looked at her, so how do you gain these wares, anyways? Um. I, uh. Well, some stuff I collect. Uh. Some stuff I make and write myself. Um, others are, uh, uh family hand-me-downs, and, um, yeah, that's how I get my stuff. I don't really have a, 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 uh, a, a proper, a proper merchant's trade of getting things. Did I say that right? I just get stuff, okay? I see. As I think to back of my head, near the, the rift story. <laughs> this is a punch, yeah. <laughs> well, to the entertainment center. Okay. Because nobody has yet to visit it, and entertainment is what I need right now. <laughs> Shop. Yo, what is that, is that? Is that a customer? Potentially. Uh, give me a sec. I'm in the basement. You hear what sounds like rummaging through crates and various papers. That's all the sex I need. I'm gonna fucking break this door. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Imagine. Two days in, three days in, and commit to cry. Bro. Only you. 
I might be new, but it's never too late to start crying. Bro, oh, too early. You uh, no, I might not, might not have picked the leave class, but I better start being a D. Imagine. Imagine. I just I said, fuck it. I'm just gonna steal the building itself. <laughs> Alright, eventually. Little short frog man comes to the door. Hello. That's short my ass. <laughs> he just doubled in size. A short yes, hello. frog man comes to the door. <laughs> I know for visual effects for us to see it, but I think he was short to begin with. And then bam, it's like surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> yes, hello. I heard you sell entertain entertainment stuff here. There you go. Ah, uh, yes, I do. I have books, I have movies, I have card games, I have uh, drawing books. I so even, I, th I think I might have a, I think I might have a video game or two in the back. What do you need? Oh, by the my, uh, what's my name again? Ah, yeah, my name's Joe. How you, how's it going? Alright. Right quick, Joe. I see that twig in your hand. I'm pretty sure you don't go around holding a twig if you do, no judgment. But are you a, are you a spellcaster? Uh, yes, I am. I okay, mostly good. use it, I mostly use my magic to, admittedly, be lazy when I don't want to grab something from across the room. Or I mean, mainly sorting out papers and things. No judgment. I knew plenty of people who cast the magic who did the same. Oh, well, that makes me feel a little better. I mean, isn't that what magic's for? To do manual labor that you don't want? True. Very true. <laughs> and that's not an agreement. Like, finally, someone who understands me. <laughs> In the back of my head, it's like, good. <laughs> I would have felt bad if I bought that toy. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I think more silence. Uh, give me two seconds to think about that. Well, I guess me, I was standing out here, won't get us nowhere with me potentially buying your stuff. Uh, yes, actually, I. My wares are right behind me. He steps to the side, and you see a bunch of stuff that was not there earlier. Magic life. The best life. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, I go perusing around. Alright, have fun. Take your time. Yes, have... Yes. I said, like, look through the books, like, I wonder if I chose this frog man to an arm wrestling. I win. <laughs> uh, there is no arm wrestling event with Joe. Not yet. Not unless I pay him to. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. Just cast magic to help him win. <laughs> so what? What books are there? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, this red book I have. It. Primarily works to get the imagination going, if you will. This blue book serves as uh, a piece on the emotional side of the imagination and creativity. This pink book is a book chock full of uncolored drawings. This black book is a manual about how to be... What was that again? Uh, he rummages through it. Ah, yeah. This book about how to be better with your hands when it comes to making medicine. Mm -hmm. And this green book I have, it's a, it's a fantasy piece about a famous detective. And then... The right of the books, I have a few DVDs that are mostly exercise and 
training videos. One of them is a, is a show about a bunch of um, fighting robots. And this other one is... Ha! Huh, it's funny that it's blue because it is about a blue robot. And this uh, box of card games I have, it's something about... Um, what was it again? Something about monsters? And Got the box left mind. of that is, well, it's a standard chess kit. I take a look at all this. I look to him. Do you get these from just random strangers who just appear? Um, sometimes, yes. Sometimes I, say, I write the lot. material myself and sell them. I like Tyra, I was like, yeah, I assumed so. I was partly assumed. Mainly because of the DVD part, as I like point at them. <laughs> oh, those, those I did not make. Those were given yeah. to me. The question is, do you have a DVD player and a television screen? Uh, yes, I do. I don't know with games. I see. to remember where I put it and as he closes his eyes and folds his arms his twig begins to glow and a few seconds later there is now a TV and a DVD player in front of you what am I gonna do with buy I had to get what am I gonna do with buying this just get a generator to plug it in while I'm traveling you can take it to the end true Do you have any other stuff? Mm. Are you heading away? This is all I have for sale today. I try to change my wares daily. I have a question. Is, do you have anything to color with? As I was pointing out the color book. Uh, I have a few pens and pencils of various different colors. See, see. Now, have... Now, for, for, for hypothetical sake, how much would all this cost, Riku? What do you think? You buying the TV, DVD player, and the coloring book? No, when I say all, I mean his whole stock. Oh, his whole stock. Uh, it'd roughly be around four grand. Majority of the look price coming from the TV and the DVD player. I looked at a frog. And I was just gonna say sold as I slammed the 4,000 gil out right at the table. <laughs> oh, well, uh, okay. Thank you. It's yes. doing business, friend. I was like, slowly put stuff into my old box. <laughs> so, do you do any uh, rental stuff? Hourly stuff in the back inside your building, or is this uh, just a warehouse for you? It's a warehouse slash living space for you. It's mostly a warehouse slash living space. I Never typically thought. do rental sales on Wednesdays, though. Never thought renting out a, a room or something to do activities with? Might get a bit out of that. Thought about it, but I also like having my belongings within within casting distance of me. That's why I leave a separate room to that sort of stuff for other people to just go in, do as they please, make them clean up after themselves. Yeah. Yes, I have thought about that before too. I don't know. I just like having my. Having things that I consider my belongings close by, you know? Yeah, understandable. All I have to my name is my pants, some other items, the items I bought for you, and a flash drive. A what? That doesn't concern you. Do, I don't think you have that technology right now. No, no, no. Unless no. you can. 
it sh if you show it to him, he'll say something different. Oh, I show him the flash drive. Oh. Around here, we call those memory containers. Where that was you... the last time I called something, something a memory container. Which I, I was on the battlefield and I watched somebody's brain fall out. Oh. Good times. A, 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 a good, good time, sir? I was in a lot of wars. We don't concern that. <laughs> Anyway, okay. I got it from my world. How I, 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 I retired from a bunch of wars. I was working at this this company. I don't know why they hired me still. Never went to college. <laughs> Unlike my other compatriots, I soon went to college. But yeah. As a failed save, I downloaded the project we were working on in the situation if something did happen. And it did. I would have won that fight. And... <laughs> <laughs> Number one is not, I would have won that one. <laughs> but yeah. And then it came to with all my stuff, and I had this. So in my back pocket, nice and safe. Oh, well, simply. Huh. Interesting. It's not every day you get someone's otherworldly backstory. Yes. Well, you. You keep that in safekeeper, and next time you mention it, um, instead of saying uh, flash drive, just mention it as a memory container, and people at least around here will know what you're talking about. Not the question, since this is the thing, who else had a memory container? Are you asking Joe or me? Joe. Oh. <laughs> the fact that he knew. <laughs> Uh, typically everyone has at least seen one before, because on Fridays, the technological people come from across the country to sell their wares here, and there is one interesting individual who has a surprising abundance of memory containers for sale. Most of them vary in size, both physically and technologically, and, well, people buy them from him. Sometimes his sister comes in his place, but that's a very rare occurrence. That's a look at Joe. Now tell me, Joe, what is today? Because nobody else figured out what today was because nobody asked. It was irrelevant at the time. <laughs> Sunday, friend. I said this and right back up after like looking down at his like <laughs> Well do you need help putting your stuff back in, Jeff? Mm. <laughs> Even though I just bought it all. Not necessarily, but if you want to help, I won't stop you. It's just I mean, that, that table helpful. and the register I need to take back inside. I picked them all up. All right. I head back inside. <laughs> that one says, I picked them all up, and I'm about to book it for my life. <laughs> Go back in, look at Joe, see where he, ask where he wants me to put them at. Um, you can put the table by the window, you can put the register back on the counter, to your left. <laughs> As I skewed a bit more to my left, dead. <laughs> Alright. Well, if you have no more business with me, uh, you are free to go on about your, your day, sir. Yes. Have a good one, Joe. I will come back to visit at some point. Alright. Take care. Yes. Next time I'll probably come by, I'll learn your wisdom and magic. Or try to, at least. Ah. Alright. I will... I will be happy to assist. And yes. because you said that, <laughs> you have unlocked Joe's friendship rank one. Alright. <laughs> Poor Joe, just sitting in his own little warehouse last house. So now, I gotta, now, now I gotta write that in. I just have a comment. I should flirt without the chick, but I, don't, that, I think that's gonna end poorly from my part. 
I said something on comment. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. You ain't gonna stop me, Ricky. No, I didn't respond because I was typing. Hang on. I didn't give you time to respond. That's why. <laughs> I regret not thinking about buying all of George's stuff. I mean, Joe's stuff. <laughs> okay. I imagine the one thing you did not expect. I meant to buy all of one frog's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, uh... You beat me to it, because I was going to say... Uh, I was going to say in Joe's place... If you know any friends that are looking to become better in the wisdom of magic, I'll be willing to teach them. But you were like, I'll come back and learn your wisdom of magic system. I was like, bam, he did it. He did the thing, and I'm proud. You know, I could have asked George the same thing, but I consider him as a wicked creature. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, you, you said you were gonna go do what now? I said, you know. I was like, I should just, oh, uh, look at the watch workout flirt with that one chick. It's like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. Fuck you. He <laughs> ain't gonna stop me this time. Okay. <laughs> Let me just move you back to the shop area. Or change the map. Oh, I have to stop flirting. I'm gonna ask her general stuff. Where's my. Oh, did I delete my character? No. I, I really know that's why. <laughs> Go back over. Over. Out of curiosity, how old are you? asking how old I am in my time where I come from or in Palamecian days? Both. I don't know what Palamecian days are. I uh, need to learn that later. Where, where, where I come from, I am... Um... Oh, That's I even better. Was, I was just about to turn 39. And you look pretty young for someone that's 39. Well, yeah, because where I come from, a year takes around 1,500 days. And in Palamecian days, I am roughly 844. No, no, tomorrow I'll be 844. I'm 843 days old here. Ah. Noted. Noted. I was like counting my head like she's about half my age. <laughs> uh, oh, give or take. That needs to be sorted out later. At least half my age. Let me rephrase that. Okay. I was like, I was like 39, eh? Hey. Yeah. I was like, later, I was like, I think I would have a daughter around your age at this point. After, after hearing daughter, she, without missing a beat, immediately asked, "Are you a father? Are you a dad? Do you have kids?" Uh, M says I've had. Huh? Yeah, I've I've been through a bunch of wars, one way or another. My own hometown was destroyed in one of the wars. So I am I am uh, technically speaking. My whole family is dead. Oh. My clan is dead. I like think was like my clan is dead. But does that mean I am the last of my race? Oh I am now that world. Let me <laughs> It's like think about the on second that I am. <laughs> oh my, that I I am so very incredibly, incredibly sorry to hear that. Eh, it happens. War is war. At the end of the day, you go through it. Repeatedly, you lose people over and over and over. And they watch people die of old age because. Yeah. Uh, I was in a war once. That's how I lost my pupils. 
a realization that she doesn't have people, it's like, huh. Yeah, I got hit by a, uh, a pretty nasty spell, and when I came to, I sure as shit was blind. She says with a ah. really, really exaggerated, like, toothy grin. And if you're wondering how I can see, well, I'm constantly using magic to give myself vision. Ah. Oh, there's some technology. I'm not sure how advanced you were. Through the many wars I've been through, I've lost countless stuff. Technically speaking, I have. If it's okay with you, we could. Technology inside myself keeping me running. That, that's fine. It's your character, dude. Yeah, it's more so because age thing. I know cybernetics was a thing inside our time period. And the I character time period. Yeah, I, I I outlived a lot of people. Right? I saw the look off in the distance. <laughs> Where I come from, uh, I was on schedule to get a new set of eyes, but then that st stupid devour guy thing came and uh, he ate everything up, and now I'm here. I'm pretty sure. Good. Oh, I'm gonna call it present magic. That's world magic. There we go. Pretty sure somebody can use crystal eyes and enchant it, and then implant it in you to see. Yeah, but those those crystals are hmm. are they are have incredibly two difficult to get because of where you have to go to get them. And where is that? Uh, Out of curiosity. It, it's it's quite a way south from the village. Uh, there's some like demon dragon thingy that has them in his teeth. Some of them are some of them are on his horn, and it's just I I tried to go get him before, and I almost died because of it. So interesting. Yeah, if I could get my hands on some of those, then I could have pupils again. But until that happens, I'm stuck pupilless. I see. There's a like contemplation, it's like, huh. I'll keep that in mind if I ever go visit that area to go fetch some crystals for you. She 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 stops in her place and are 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 you saying you'd be willing to get some for me? Yes. From war one war event to another. As we all have to sit together one way or another. And I get I was like in the back of my eyes like or else we end up like bums as I left the bum line. <laughs> <laughs> well since you basically accepted a quest from her. Alright, so I'm gonna... This is an intermission special quest. Nah, as I quickly run over... Anyway. <laughs> ...and get my ass beat mm. by a dragon. Nah. <laughs> Imagine, it's like, I'm here for your teeth and horns. And <laughs> 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 no hesitation slapped into the ground. <laughs> Imagine going up there balls deep into his own cave, demanding his horner teeth. <laughs> right, that would be amazing and hilarious at the same time. <laughs> it would be more amazing if I survived. written, uh, you're gonna need at least one other person with you. 
I said this is a party dungeon. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Uh, By the second thing, or uh, I was gonna ask, or oh, does something need to be with me to harvest stuff? No. Oh wait, it doesn't matter because all that appears in my own inventory. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be uh, depending how strong this dragon is and how willing the group of people I'm with. They're gonna be quick or it won't be tipped out in the line. I mean That's that, that's directed to her. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Because you know how it goes to parties. It's up to the group decision usually to where we go. Yeah. Uh well I mean no no rush or anything. If if you can do it, I'll be incredibly appreciative of you. Yes. Oh, I'm going to go prep my butt before this battle. Oh, more so to see what other people have. Maybe at some point I can treat you to a meal and we can talk about past war stuff if you don't mind. Sure, I'm down for that. Yes. Oh, wait, and after saying that, you have marked for your friendship rank one. I'm slowly going up. Now, we have to get outside and then duck Mike. <laughs> right, let me... Let me write in what Fiora's rank 1 does for people. I don't know what Joe's rank 1 does for people. <laughs> uh... Once per day, if you have a spell in your inventory that you didn't already read, he would instantly teach it to you. You don't get the... Him, uh, you don't get any bonuses from it, though. I see. <laughs> Poor Greg. <laughs> I'm just gonna buy some bread and come back. Actually. Huh. Draw my deal. Oh, wait, the festival is later today, that's right. Alright. Who are you going to talk to next? I was going to ask, isn't the festival later today? No, it's like, it was good, also because I was like, maybe I should buy Greg food, and I thought it was like, this is the worship call each day, and I'm like, yeah, it is. Yeah, in, in campaigns later today, but it, it'll happen tomorrow. That's a, yeah. That's a longer series of events kind of thing. And if, well, whoever, whoever listens to this recording, they're going to hear it, but I have a thing for Alec that I really want him to do it the way i have it written up it's fun like, i've had this i have everything for the campaign completely done up to just before the final fight so like like your competition thing with greg uh the friendship ranks i've had all that stuff done for a while I wander over to this strange man with pupilless eyes. Uh, the accessory guy? Yes. <clears throat> hey, bud. How's it going? Alright. You, uh, got into some sick, nasty fights earlier. But you very, you obviously pulled through. Proud of you, yes. dude. Yes. Thanks to your wares. I like, give him a pat on the back. <laughs> Damn, did they really help out that much? That's... I mean, it helped me. <laughs> that, that's pretty sick. I'm happy. Yep. Yep. Usually the, the stuff I sell, they, uh... Uh... They get refunded. Because some people just aren't 
as impressed as they initially were with it, and, um, yeah, people can be jerks sometimes. I mean, this is just life with some people. Where I'm from, people tend to do that sometimes, they're just dissatisfied, or they're just a scam. Points to your spark strike badge. You know that right there? Yeah, yes. I sold it to someone. And for whatever reason, as many times as I said it'll do lightning sparkly things, they figured it would do fire things. And they figured they could use it to try to cook something, and they blew it to bits, and they got mad at me and demanded a refund. What? I was the wrong way to cook something. They yeah, burn off. Do you have a pen? They didn't want to listen. I said, quick look, do you have a pen or pot on you? Or somewhere near you by any chance? model back there i'm gonna show but for you to show a point if the guy was here to teach him i pick up the pen it's like this is how you cook something and i'm gonna cast flame strike onto it okay. yeah <laughs> but it's like this is how you cook something that with sparks even though huh spark would do well for it where's that banging sound <laughs> Uh, want to put it back on my desk. Yeah, see, yeah. If, 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 if they had bought the right thing, they wouldn't have, you know, lost their minds. But, like I said, dude, they just they didn't want to listen. Yeah. These banners have many purposes behind them. I mean, a lot more than combat, but... At the time being, I was looking for just for combat. Yeah, man. Is he I'm also not, missing pupils? I'm not really much of a fighter, but if I do have to cave someone's head in with a golf club, I will. Yes. Doesn't mean I particularly enjoy it, though, but when you have it, Interdimensional dimension eating dragon thing, and you gotta be ready to the thing itself at all times, you know? Yes. You can't really be a pacifist around these parts. Truth in that matter. That's not good. Like, did you play golf or something, or. Came from, I was the number one golf player in the world. Well, I, had I know. So, so many championships and tournaments under my belt. And I had a lot of trophies and medals and all that stuff. And the one, the one day that I was having a slightly bad day was when the Devourer showed up in, well, his thing. Now I'm here. Let's see. Well, I don't fancy myself a golfer, but I do have muscles. Potentially, they're at least decent. You always sound so gloomy. Why don't we, at some point, if you, even if, if you have golf balls, if not, we can improvise. Play a friendly round of golf. I'll dude. probably lose verbally, but yes. <laughs> oh, dude, that's that's cool. It's been uh, how long has it been? It's been like a little over a month 
since Mayor last played uh, golf with me, because you know, he he runs a place. He has all this legal businessy boring crap he has to do. But yeah, man, sure, I'll let you know. I'll uh, next time I come around, I'll bring my stuff with me and, and go knock a couple golf balls around. Yeah, and pretty I, sure we can run a few people up to play golf. They get into a competition of sorts. Hell yeah, dude. After he finishes his sentence. As I look, Craig, look over at Craig's like, you're not gonna lose one to it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you now have the accessory guys on uh, Friendship Rank 1. And I have faith in everybody else to get into three. I got half of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, time to do what any other reasonable person would do in this situation. As soon as you're finished. Yeah, let me just type this up. Oh, that high nice spell price, Jesus. Alright, put that in, show the players. Okay. Oh, I don't know what any reasonable man do in this situation. Go back to Greg. <laughs> Look him dead in the eye as soon as he responds. <laughs> oh, hello. Welcome back. Yes, I came back for round two. Not of arm wrestling, but of squats. Uh, squats? <laughs> that reaction. Uh, sure. If you suppose they have the strongest legs in this town. And I would challenge you for that title. <laughs> at, at, once, once the word challenge comes out of your mouth, his hat turns around all on its own. Okay, Ash catch it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and his eyes are suddenly on fire and he he's he's ready to throw down. Just grab his music again. Stop that from playing and play this. Okay. So this time you will to come at the calendar this time. <laughs> you will be rolling uh, strength and athletics. And because you challenged him, your first Three rolls are done with advantage. Okay. You need to. Oh, you need to roll a total of one hundred and three before Greg does. So when you say advantage, I'm assuming like each roll for both rolls are with advantage for three times, right? Yeah. And I'm, okay. I'm going to combine both advantages together, and I'm going to divide it by five. Well, I'm assuming I'm starting. Yeah. Look at that. Are we oh. starting out strong? Whoa. Okay. Hold up. <laughs> this is all the golfer in the wizard sees. It's two people doing school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Alex, look at that. I was like, this is my life. <laughs> You got one more roll, dude. I do? Yeah. Oh, Four. wait, no, you got two, because you got to roll strength and let it two more times. Oh, I was just waiting for uh, Greg to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you need to buy your number then. Okay, but damn. Okay, you're starting out at 76. Jesus. Yeah, I'm giving Greg a chance. Uh, put this up. 
because we did it based on turn order, and it's like, might as well just do it on t turn order, because even with the bench, three times I would get that 103 before he gets a chance to push in. <laughs> Because the moment you gave me advantage, it's like, I might not be as strong as him, but I think it's like a third, like two thirds of his check is what I got from with advantage. Probably well, a little more than two thirds, but yeah. Greg is at 45. Oh, on where's that go? I I almost rolled the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, you win. You beat his record by 43 squats. Cause that wedding, I thought do extra squats. <laughs> <laughs> Just to flex on them. I mean, the, the title of strongest leg is that something you measly don't do extra squats on. Get ready for the next time around. <laughs> right. All right. Well, after you uh. blow Greg out of the water, uh. In a squat contest, he's trying to catch his breath while Alex is clapping for you. And because you beat Greg, Alex's friendship rank goes up to one. Actually, I was gonna point at him. It was like, what do you do for an all aggressively competition? Challenge great Alex and Alex is like one down. It's one on one with them. That was easy. Oh, where is it? Uh, like this. Yeah, because like if you had managed to uh play the wrong song, hold on. There we go. Uh earlier with Greg's thing, if you managed to beat him you would have gotten uh, Alex's friendship rank right then and there. But because you decided to go back for round two and you beat him, you got it now. What's that in? As I slam, as I slam with the anvil, it's like, that's right, Greg. It's one on one now. Next time you go into challenger. <laughs> oh, now they claim this anvil is my prize. Uh, wait, no. <laughs> Your reaction. <laughs> you can't just take a whole ass anvil. What? You tripping. If I can lift it, I can take it. No. Your reaction is like, what? <laughs> Said, what? What? <laughs> right. Players that has been added. Well, as I like to Greg on our friendlier note, maybe at some point later we can just watch something together with Alec. I recently purchased a television, a DVD player, and some DVDs, and some books. Ah, okay. That sounds like a splendiferous engagement. Yes. Pretty sure a nice change of pace. Especially for good old Alec here. Should probably take a moment to relax a bit. is Mayor, and the only other person who beat me, albeit in 
released by a single squat was Alex. Well, it just means I have three, two more people to challenge as I turn to Alex. <laughs> Alex being completely, well, he, no, he's trying to be oblivious to the conversation, but he just looks over and waves at you. Yes. As I go to Alec, now I challenge you to a competition. Now of squats! With the re most reasonable competition, any person with heavy armor would struggle in. Running laps. Oh. <laughs> uh, Alex very quickly turns you down. Exactly. Nah, not today. <laughs> some other time. Maybe some other. But not today. <laughs> okay. As I like extend a hand to handshake Alec. <laughs> we'll do this other method then. The contest of strength via handshake. It doesn't require moving. All it requires is a simple grip. You want to you challenge him to a vice grip contest? Yes. That's the best way to show arm strength besides their arm wrestling. You know, I haven't seen Baki, the yeah, uh, Netflix yeah. version. You know how uh, the father handshakes Pickle? Yeah. Yeah, a contest like that. <laughs> huh. Does it require movement? He's stationary and he can keep lookout at the same time. Okay. Um. Let me. Hmm. <laughs> Unexpected. We do this the old fashioned way then. <laughs> No attention. <laughs> that. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play this. Okay. So you you need to roll just hardcore strength, and you need to get to. You need to get to 250 before Alex, before Alex does. I have somewhat faith in my own strength. I hear a message. God damn it, Minecraft. Right, there we go. 24, starting out strong. <laughs> oh. I want to see like a plus 20 on his. It's like, that's right. <laughs> By the way, I recommend you copy and paste it to save you time for typing out repeatedly. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. Uh, type it wrong anyway. Nice. <laughs> At 21, I knew he was stronger than me, but I didn't know how, by how much. Uh, he only has a 3 point lead on me so far. I have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he rolls low each time. <laughs> As I roll a one. <laughs> Reroll that. Uh, like, like, surely I have to roll low each time. One. It's like, that's right. That this is karma. <laughs> you don't beat a duck and walk away. Calculator. <laughs> 27. You're at 46. Imagine I'm the villain of the series. <laughs> Another one? <laughs> Bro, huh? Nah. There's a reason why I would roll with advantage. <laughs> You're at 68. You don't understand my research. It's not as bad as other players, but Jesus Christ. Yeah. Good old 35. Good old 19 because I rolled a 7. <laughs> I lost that small. That, he had a small lead and he just widened it instantly. <laughs> yeah, you're at 87. 
He just he he's, he's gone. He was just warming up apparently. <laughs> Twenty-five. You're at one sixteen. And his low rolls are high. He's at one fifty-seven. You're at one forty-six. What I need to do is roll two that twenties back to back. <laughs> but that ain't happening. <laughs> He's at 195. You're at 173. Wasn't the limit 200 and something? 250. Ah, I was lower. I was, I was gonna say he won this. That is a sixth. He's at 227. You're at 165. And he wins. He got two. Yeah, that's that. Two fifty-four. Clearly, you're a man of fine arm strength. Yeah, well, walking around in all this heavy-ass armor, I gotta be some degree of strong, you know. Yeah. You weren't too bad yourself. You almost had me there for a moment. Yeah. But then I got tired midway. Yeah, it's... It's been... A few months since I had a... A grip strength battle with someone before. I mean, it's not a common thing to come across. Not many ways, not many people do the more primitive methods of stuff. Yeah, that's true. The way, the way I, I make my armors, com <sighs> compared to my relatives, they still say it's primitive, but I like doing it this way. Uh, next time, I'll come back around and challenge you to a weightlifting contest. Oh my. Okay. We just need to find weights at that point, unless you have weights that were tucked away. <laughs> I mean... I can cast a spell that would make our armor heavier, and that could be our makeshift weights. I agree with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, till then, as I said to Greg, you're invited to movie night. Or entertainment night. <laughs> okay, I'll make sure to bring snacks. Yes. And Alex. He's not getting out of this. And Alex looks at him, and he's like, oh, come on, you bastard. Say, no, no, no. You are going to be social whether you like it or not. With more than just one person. Ugh, fine. As I whispered to Alex, maybe next time we'll do a contest. Let's see how far each one of us can go through Greg. <laughs> <laughs> He, he, he just nods in approval. <laughs> oh, till next time. Take care. <laughs> next target, the mayor. <laughs> I'm gonna bust into his office, kicking down the door. It's like, I challenge you. <laughs> now, the, the, the mayor is for tomorrow. He's doing business stuff right now. Yeah. Oh. You've honestly, like, you've gone through pretty much everyone that that doesn't require specific people to be here for. So, if, if I'm gonna be real, you you single <laughs> you single-handedly basically 100%ed intermission day one. <laughs> I mean, it's a good way to end it, because comparatively hours, because some of those competitions takes a bit of time. Yeah. And me with my back and stuff with looking stuff, should give everybody enough time to cruise and do their stuff. Yeah. Well, 
I guess on that note, I'll go ahead and call it a session. I'm gonna yes. smash the stop recording button on OBS, and whoever decides they want to listen to this later, I hope you have a good time. <laughs>